Hello there, I'm Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now you may be wondering why am I holding a bowl in my hand? Well, all will be revealed in just a moment. Today is March the 14th, so it's the third month and the 14th day, so that's 3.14, so it's Pi Day. And so today I want to show you how to calculate Pi using a bowl, using a micro SD card, and then a pencil and a paper and a ruler. So if you wonder how to calculate pi, please let me explain. Okay, so here we are with our bits and pieces. We have a bowl, we have a micro SD card, we have a pencil, we have a ruler and we have some paper. So what we start off by doing is drawing a circle using our bowl. Now, of course, you remember pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle with its diameter. Okay, so there we have a circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the micro SD card as a way of marking out units across the card. Now the micro SD card's got a little notch in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that notch as a point of reference to try to get some accurate readings. So what you do is you mark off and make sure that the next one is always in the notch. And you try to get it as much at 90 degrees as you can. As we go around the circle, you just change the angle slightly of the card so that it's always at 90 degrees with the circle. So we're just gonna mark those off here and let's just keep on going around the circle. Now, obviously this is gonna be a very approximate uh, measurement. The bigger the circle you use and the smaller the units, the greater your accuracy is gonna be. I thought it'd be fun here because we've got a micro SD card, which is kind of, you know, tech, uh, and everything else is just the simple things that we should find around the house. Okay, so we're halfway around now. Okay, so we're here at the last one and it's not quite a whole one. So we'll see how that turns out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 39, 40, 40 point, what would that look like? 40.8 maybe? It's not a whole 41, so we're gonna say 40.8. Okay, now the next thing we should do is to measure the diameter. And the way you do that is you need to find the middle of the circle. Now, a quick way to do that is if you find a ruler here and you draw a straight line across. So here I'm using, this is 11 centimeters and I'm just gonna draw that from one side to the other. And if we go down here and we find another space that's exactly 11 centimeters, also needs to be parallel with the other one. So how's that looking? Let's just find that there. Okay, that looks about right there. 11 centimeters across, parallel with that one. And then if you join up the two corners, like this, where they intersect, that will be the center of the circle. So let's just do that. Okay, so here's the center of our circle and we'll just draw a line across here so that we can get the diameter. And now the same thing, we want to use our little micro SD card here to measure this, the, the diameter here. So let's just start marking these off. Okay, so let's count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that gives us 40.8 divided by 13. And if we now do that on our calculator here, we can see that 40.8 divided by 13 is 3.138. So we can round that up to 3.14. So there you go, we've calculated pi using a micro SD card and a bowl. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. You can catch me on Twitter, at Gary Explains, on Instagram, at Gary Explains. Please go down to the comments and tell me what you thought about this video and tell me what other videos you think I should be making. 
please do subscribe and share because that will help to build up the community here. And as for me, I'll see you down in the comments and I'll also see you in my next video.